This week, 699 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total stall count to 67,140. BP Pulse added four stations, Flow added four, Mercedes-Benz High Powered Charging added one, Pilot Flying J added three, Loves added one, Tesla added 16, Electrify America added three, ChargePoint added 22, EVgo added six, but it should be noted that their station count decreased for some reason. EV Connect added three. Before we get into the data, I just want to say, sometimes when I do this, it seems like the whole EV thing is petering to a halt, and then other weeks, I'm staring down an EV revolution in progress, and this week is definitely the latter. It's amazing amount of activity going on out there. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First, BP Pulse is opening not one, but two gigahubs in the state of California next to major international airports. Pictured here is the San Francisco International Airport Gigahub, and you can see someone already posted into PlugShare that it is open. This is the screen of the Alpitronic Hypercharger. It is 12 stalls, but the crowd pleaser is here in Inglewood outside of LAX. Look at that number, 48 stalls. There's also a uh, Thornton's in Riverview, Florida, and a Thornton's in Joliet, Illinois. But let's, let's get to the crowd pleaser here. 48 stalls outside of LAX. And BP Pulse posted into social media, I grabbed it off LinkedIn, that they're having a load test for this site. And you can sign up for a slot in order to participate in that load test uh, later this month. So go out to social media, BP Pulse's uh, LinkedIn page, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But what a beautiful station. It should be noted over here in the background, you can see a handicap accessible uh, dispenser with two stalls. And this location also has an attached uh, facility, a driver's lounge, in order to go to the restroom, buy a snacks, and uh, underneath the lit canopy, just beautiful. Flow added four. This one's he here is the Washington one, and you can see it's a pretty steep um, parking lot they built into, but two Flow Ultras for a total of four high-powered charging stalls getting installed. It's open. The picture is a little bit dated, but uh, this is now open. Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging made sure that Coloradians buying boots, this says boot barn back here, have the ability to charge at high speeds with Alpitronic hyperchargers. So snow or no snow, you get a fast charge in the state of Colorado courtesy of Mercedes-Benz now. It's in Thornton, Colorado, north of Denver. Pilot Flying J added three. This is Gillette Washington. That's a Cadillac Lyric. The color is called Nimbus Blue. Uh, my wife chose our color, which was Stellar Black, but if I had chosen our color, I probably would have chosen this Nimbus Blue. I really like the way that thing looks. Rising Fawn, Georgia. Someone chimed into my, uh, my uh, Pilot Flying J update last night. Um, Alan Yates mentioned, he actually lives kind of close to here, that this Rising Fawn, Georgia is basically the only high-powered charging in between Huntsville, Alabama and Chattanooga, Tennessee. So it's an important station. And Oakwood, Illinois. Loves opened Ritzville, Washington. I didn't even know this station was getting built, but there it is. This is a picture that's dated while it was under construction. But according to uh, the uh, Alternative Fuels Data Center database, it is now open. We have seen, though, multiple times in the past where Loves will blink a station as active in alternative fuels uh, database, but actually not have it commissioned yet. So definitely caution before you go out there if you're expecting to get a charge, um, waiting to see if it is actually open by maybe some other spotters or something, I'm not sure, but it is showing open in the Alternative Fuels Data Center database. And I, I included all the ones because Loves is, as we could see here, really starting to pick up speed, um, even though they were highly re uh, dependent on Nevi. Um, and that seems to have ground to a halt. We still see multiple stations getting built and commissioned. Here's Tesla doing another amazing week. I'm gonna drop my video. Another amazing week of station installations. 
going to pause here for a second, a couple to call out the uh, Davis location. I've got a picture of coming up here. It's kind of a zoomed in picture, but there's 20 stalls. Idaho is got two Mountain Home, Idaho and Blackfoot, Idaho, both eight stalls. Um, New Jersey, we all know the fun story that's going on there. So this might be some backfill for the ones coming off the turnpike. And uh, Quebec. And Anderson is an uh, important location. And this is what the Davis, California station looks like. And if you look here, this is V4 dispenser with a screen. And the screen is actually lit. And I think I see a credit card reader there as well. I'm not actually the credit card reader would be down here. This would be the uh, receptacle for the handle. And it's nice they put the stickers on the damn stalls. Sometimes they forget to do that. Electrify America, I mentioned last week that Rivian Adventure Network opened a station in Asheville, North Carolina at the Asheville Outlet Mall. Electrify America put a bookend on it by Forest Ridge Shopping Center in Asheville, opening eight stalls. Really pretty. This is the second Electrify America in Asheville. There's already an existing one at a Sam's Club. Additionally, Evolve New York gets four stalls and Tampa, Florida gets six stalls at an Ikea. Here's ChargePoint, having a very good week also. Pausing here for a second, Pooler, Georgia getting a one stall station at a Noria in Georgia, which seems a little bit out of character for them. Joliet, Illinois getting a couple of uh, why is this not coalescing? I'm going to have to look at the sequel. I'm not sure. And um, where was the one that was four stalls? Right here. I tried to look it up on PlugShare, but there's no pictures yet. Here's EVgo. Last week, they had a really good week with five stations opening. This week, they have six. But this one in Jacksonville, I know, was previously opened. So I'm not sure why it's in there again. That's a little bit of a curiosity to me. I'd have to dig into the sequel. I'm kind of pressed for time right now, so I didn't have the time to do so this morning. But this one here in Kent, Washington is what the picture is, and this is a new station. So uh, that one is legitimate. EV Connect added three stations. Pausing here for a second. I tried to look up the one in Terrence, or Terrace, British Columbia, and I could not find it. And an honorable mention, the good people at Apple Green opened two stations on the New Jersey Turnpike. Thanks for watching.